I wanted to make a clear and concisive video uh, where I wanted to show how you can use the op amp as a switch unit. And the idea was uh, let me try this infrared sensor. This sensor was, as far as I can see, and no um, uh, taken out of a computer mouse and uh, one part of the sensor is of course the infrared diode and the other part of the sensor is the infrared receiver. Say when that uh, uh, receiver receives infrared light it starts to conduct and when it is dark say in terms of not receiving infrared light it uh, has a high or higher resistance and I want to show that this is by the way the schematic in fact it's very simple and very easy and I want to keep it as simple as possible I had this circuit, circuit working with that in infrared uh, diode but suddenly it didn't want to work but uh, of course I had to test the infrared light sensor and this is a way to test that infrared sensor uh, 1k resistor here to the diode this is the diode here that sends out its light here and here is the receiver that receives that light and of course say when you block that infrared light you uh, must see a substantial difference in resistance uh, in the sensor and that's what I wanted to show It worked for a while, but I have to study it much better, uh, do more experiments, etc., etc. But of course, I can show how that infrared uh, sensor kind of box works. Anyway, again the schematic, and then I want to show my experiment. I have connected here to the uh, the sensor unit a uh, ohms meter and at first let me show that uh, the normal light, the visible light has no influence on this uh, sensor. It's made for infrared light. So another part of the light spectrum uh, well, uh, the good thing, say one proof is that even here when the lights are on, the, this light and that light, it has no effect on the sensor here. But, say, when I block the light here between the two elec uh, electrodes, one, one electrode is the uh, emitting diode and the other one is a sensor you can surely see that the uh, resistance drops so I have now my ohms meter and my uh, sensor unit in the same picture and now I block that infrared light you can surely see when I do that there is an enormous change in resistance. So, uh, with infrared light here, we have a resistance of approximately 1000 approximately ohms, and when that infrared light is blocked, it goes down to, I don't know the exact value, but anyway, well, I can say almost I have some reflections 
almost uh, zero ohms. So, uh, well, again, now it's more, uh, the light is dimmed and there's more or less no visible visible light at the moment, but the, the properties stay the same. So, here I block that block that sensor again here with a piece of paper that blocks the infrared light from the light emitting diode to the sensor and here you see again the enormous difference in resistance. Well, the second stage will of course be to uh, use this to make that op amp work. Well, that's another question. This was, in my opinion, an interesting thing to show. Now it's completely dark. Well, of course, I cannot show now the that the unit is only sensitive for infrared light. But anyway, the light has dimmed. Again, I do the same blocking here the infrared radiation from the uh, infrared diode to the sensor. And here we have the same. Such a very, very uh, substantial change in uh, resistance uh, can also of course have a very substantial change in voltage so that will be perhaps published in the next video where I want to as a demo circuit by the way want to show this TL071 op amp circuit uh, switching on infrared light. Thanks for watching. It's only a simple demo and when you know something about electronics you can surely <coughs> use this principle. <coughs> Say when the <coughs> light emitting diode gives out light the sensor picks it up. Its resistance changes very substantially so that uh, makes that you can use this for a electronic switch. Thanks for watching.